Hi, hello. Today we're going to be talking about the webcomic book series, Hooky. So in this book series, there are three books. I don't know if book three is out yet because um, I had already pre-ordered mine in like May. And so it came early. And I'm going to give you a little um, warning. There are spoilers for the series. A lot of spoilers because that's pretty much what I'm doing right now is just telling you about the book. So if you're sensitive to that, click away. Maybe go actually read the series. It's really nice. They usually have it at Barnes & Noble. Um, if you're looking for a store to find it in, or if you are going to order it somewhere, then Amazon works. It's on there usually, unless they took it down like immediately. Um, so yeah, so let's get into it. You have been warned. You can't blame me if you get it spoiled for you. So yeah, let's get into that. Wait a second, one little thing about the art piece real quick. Um, it's just a fun little thing of Danny as a kid and as an adult. And I made her hair pretty swoopy because it actually is really, really long. Very, very pretty. Doesn't suit her as a character because it's not really her pretty much. Um, we'll get into that, but I, I think I think it turned out really good. I actually really like this piece. Although I did do a second like sketch. This is the like third one. But I did three of them because I couldn't get the characters to look right for a little bit. So I'll show you the first one because that one is fine. I do like the Danny sketch in that one better than I like that one on the page that you're seeing. But I do really, really like the older Danny much more than the the one on the sketch page. So sorry, that was very confusing. Um, so yeah, let's let's now get into the series. So we start off in book one with Danny and Dorian going off to school. Well, attempting to going to school because they missed the bus. Also, Danny's real name is Daniela, but they call her Danny through pretty much the whole story. So, yeah. After missing the bus, they go off to their aunt's house to hide out because they know that their parents will scold them for not being at school. And so she kind of hides them for a little bit and gets them to do some chores because what great aunt doesn't take advantage of free labor when they can? Yep, a classic. Um, so they head off to the dungeon. Dorian steals a dragon. There's a big old fight scene for a little bit. And then they wake up in a train car after they boarded the train. But you just see them waking up. And they meet this little young rascal, Nico, which I actually really like Nico's character a lot. He was very nice. And he brings them to Master Pendragon after breaking a window in a train with his ball. So... Yes, that happened. And after meeting Mr. Pendragon, which is this man right here, he lets them stay at their house, at his house for a little bit. And yeah, that's pretty much the start and setup of the story. And a lot of very funny hijinks ensue, such as Danny's failed love potion, making Mark want to kill her, the giant octopus that almost ate Dorian because of the love potion, the pudding incident where Danny orders a ton of this pudding that she doesn't like because she's trying to get a plane back for Nico. Yeah, pretty much book one is just kind of having fun. But by the end of it, one of her friends gets killed. Um, Alex, which is this witch, and she is really cool. And then she gets stabbed in the stomach. So yeah, that happened. And then Danny goes psycho because she is going to be the queen of witches because Damien, her older brother, is supposed to be the king of them. I don't think it's going to be like a, I don't think it was going to be like a creepy marriage thing. I think it was just because their family is like pretty much witch royalty. So yeah, on to book two. Oh, and I almost forgot to tell you that they go into a, a gingerbread house where children were taken and eaten and put in cages and then Danny almost gets burned alive. So yeah, that also happened. Very sorry, forgot to mention that one. It reminded me when I was listening to the audio to make sure I didn't stutter too much. So yeah, forgot to tell you that. Now on to book two. So book two starts out with them at escaping on Carl. Car Carlio? I think it's Carl. I'm very sorry if it's not. Um, it just looks a lot like the word Carl to me. So if you know how to actually pronounce it, um, you can either pop it in the comments or... I. I don't know. Um, very sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong, but I'm just going to call him Carl. So Carl is this like frog dragon guy and they made him a lot bigger so that they could all ride on him. And it shows the aftermath of what happened after Monica's ball and the big old fight scene where Danny went psycho. And they're hiding out in this little cabin where 
you can see Danny mourn, actively mourning Alex's death after being stabbed. They buried her at that cottage. And then it cuts to Damien and a little bit about his backstory and how their mom almost got also burnt alive. And if you don't know who Damien is, Damien is their brother, their older brother, the twins, Danny and Dorian. And it shows a lot of hit, a little bit of his story. And his story is very nice. I'm very, very glad that they put it in. Um, because I think that he's a very substantial character and he helps carry the plot line along a lot. And it really explains a little bit more of why. So yeah, that's very, very nice. And then it cuts to Danny and Dorian and the whole gang again, all getting ready to leave in these two vans. And when they're passing these witches, they realize that this whole gang is not witches. Only a few of them are. And so they want to kill them. And so there's this big old other little... I guess it's not that big, but it's a little bit of a fight scene where the witches end up getting shrunk and then Danny and Dorian run away after Monica almost got literally kidnapped out of the car. So yeah, they run away and they find this little cottage in the woods with a wolf inside and they help cure the wolf before heading into a town. And this town is where Danny starts to learn more about the queen, where she pictures herself as the queen in this very long gown, which might be a little bit recognizable to the one I was drawing. Not like I'm saying it's that good. I'm just saying that you might see some similarities. So yeah, and they're these two horrible witches who basically just like bring her in because they work for her parents and stuff. It's it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. So yeah. <laughs> Now we're in the desert, and basically we learn that there's a dragon on the outskirts of town, and they're gonna go fight it. And so when they're fighting it, the dragon basically blasts some of them away and then flies away. And so they're all trying to track each other down, and this is where we meet a, a siren who actually captures Danny, and they have to get her back, and Mark falls in love with the siren and stuff. It, that's a whole thing. And when they finally find each other, Dorian basically had killed the dragon. No, he hadn't, he hadn't killed it. He just had fought it. Um, Damien kisses Will because he's his true love, and that's how he has to wake him up, because it's like a true love's kiss, because they've been trying to find Will for a very long time. And then um, Danny and Dorian's dad dies. That's another thing that happens. And then after that, they go back to the Sand Palace, you know, probably a bit distraught, you know, because, like, their dad just died. A lot of things. And then in the middle of the night, uh, Danny's mom kills the king and queen, which are Monica's parents. And then they, she basically just captures Danny. And then after that, they go to a funeral to mourn her dad's death. And then, yeah, <laughs> that, that was a, that was very sad. And then Monica has a funeral because she discovers her parents are dead. And then that's another thing that happens. And then later on, Dorian gets captured and they're going to catch him on fire. And so when Danny sees, she thinks that he actually dies. And so there's like, there's been this like weird evil through the whole book that she's been experiencing. And she starts experiencing it at that witch tavern where the witches get her to see herself as the queen in that little village. And basically it all kind of comes out and she goes crazy and she, then she becomes like evil because she thinks dorian actually died but it was just a dummy and he's not dead so yeah we're gonna get into book three now because that was a lot <laughs> all right so book three we start out three years later with danny being in this chair and she's just well actually you start the book seeing her really happy with a pair of overalls on very cute she's just like a very happy life and then it clips to her being very depressed very sad not like actual depressed but like it feels like it and so she's with nico who's basically her servant who's trying to get her memory back so that they can leave and it's not really working and so monica's been trying and trying her hardest she's been studying she's been like she's been trying every which thing that she can to get danny and dorian back because dorian has been missing for three years he basically got, like, blasted away, and they find him, like, very, <clears throat> very three years later. I do have to say, though, that I wish that they had made him a little bit skinnier on the shoulders to not, like, not so muscular, because if he was, like, laying there for three years, his muscles would not be as formed as they are. 
So, yeah, but they do say that the dragon kept him somewhat fed because he probably wouldn't have been alive for that long. So, yeah. And then Danny basically attacks, her eyes go red, and then they realize that she might actually just be possessed by the cat which follows her around. And they try multiple times to get her back, and so when Dorian sees her again, he basically almost cries. He hasn't seen his sister in so long, and she doesn't remember him. At, like at all the only person she pretty much remembers is Nico because Nico's been by her side for all of those years because he freaking loves Danny <clears throat> he loves her with all of his heart <laughs> and you can definitely see that in his character he would stay by her side no matter where she went no matter how dangerous it was he would stay by her side which is sweet in a sense but not really so yeah, and Damien actually comes and helps them do this because he is nice now um, and not evil ever ag ag again. So, yeah, and there's a lot of random things that happen. For instance, Danny burning down multiple towns. She threatens a family. She burns down that family's house. And witchcraft is banned now. Like, doing witchcraft will get you in prison. And Monica is trying to change that because she thinks that it is very unfair because her father was very anti-magic, but he also still burnt witches at the at the stake. So yeah, it kind of was just not working in his favor. And so Monica gets married to Will and that's where Danny's eyes turn red and stuff. But it's not really a marriage because Monica said it's a fake marriage, but Will doesn't really like that. He wants that actual married life, but he's supposed to be with Damien. And I'm pretty sure he pretty much is at the end of the book. Like, there's literally a part where the maids are talking. They're just like, do they even hide it anymore? Like, <laughs> I think that's kind of funny. And so they actually do get Danny back. And she's just still really can't really remember anything. But she's not really possessed as much anymore. And she's just kind of, just kind of vibing for a little bit. Before she actually snaps out of it after, like, another fight where some witches are trying to take her back because she's their queen. They need her back. And so they try to capture her and bring her back. And then eventually she just kind of snaps out of it. And she realizes this is not me at all. And that's kind of when things get resolved. For instance, Dorian becomes a, a like, um, an actual professor. He's not just professor to Monica. He's professor to actual children. Monica actually gets that law and order that allows witches to walk free. And uh, Danny becomes a traveling, like, basically kind of like a uh, missionary but different for this world because it's magic and not actual jesus so <laughs> yeah and nico goes with her because he loves danny and that's kind of the end of the story i do have to say that i love the outfits in this story a lot like the end outfit oh my god um there's a lot of other things like for instance danny's danny and dorian's and damien Danny Dorian and Damien's mom gets her magic stripped in order to get out. Um, aunt Heidel, who is actually the aunt of the twins, is still in prison, but then she becomes like a like a kind of like a witch doctor at the edge of the town. So yeah, they kind of get their stories resolved. So yeah. So yeah, that was the whole recap part. It's pretty much the whole video. That's just kind of what it was. But um, I'm gonna talk about some things about it that I wanted to talk about. Um, so one thing at the very end of the book, like the actual end, is some little extras, which are so fun. I really like them. They just kind of show the character's personality. They're very fun at the end because it like can show like a funny moment and they're very nice. I'm not going to put any pictures on screen of those because I don't want to spoil them for anyone who actually wants to go read the, the novels, the actual graphic novels, because they're super good. I would really encourage anyone who loves witches or loves art or just anyone in general who loves any kind of even romance like there it wasn't a lot of romance but it's definitely like still there like they don't hide it or anything which is nice and I think it's a great book series and there's a lot that I left out like for instance Monica goes and lives with Danny and Dorian for the first book and pretty much all the way through and then they she argues with her dad because king stuff <laughs> you know and I really really like the art style I think it's really pretty um I love the use of color and then actually the whole thing is in color like if you just get it it's just in color it's a big big book though like it's a thick book <laughs> I'm not gonna lie um so it might take you a little while to read like the the first one 
didn't take me that long. I don't actually remember because it was a long time ago. The second one took me two days and then the third one took me three. But that's just because three, I was actually halfway working a little bit more on different videos for that one. So I kind of was like busy, but I still managed to get it all done. So yeah, um, I love the outfits for the series. Um, I think the only one I have a really bad like gripe with or the one that I didn't really like the most is probably Monica's funeral dress and I actually talked about this in my Wednesday video where I was wondering if it was a reference because Wednesday's dress looks an awful lot like Monica's dress and unless they've been right unless they've been writing this thing since like 2016 2017 because originally the first was written in 2015 um did they steal the dress from this? Or is it supposed to be a reference that is just so subtle people didn't notice? Because their dress is awfully too similar for my liking. So, yeah. But I would really encourage anyone who wants to to go read this series because I did really leave out a ton of really good detail that if you go read this, it's so nice. It's really nice. It's such a good series. There are some interesting gripes that I have with it, but like not big enough that like they need to really be discussed like I think the biggest thing I would have would be like I wish um Dorian was a little skinnier because he had been in a coma pretty much for three years I don't it wasn't an actual coma but it pretty much was a coma but I think that's pretty much the biggest thing I'd be like yeah no they could have done that part better but like I don't care I mean it looks fine it looks good Okay, that kind of kind of came out really creepy. Um, but he, I mean, like, his character looks fine, like, in a character design point. So, yeah, thank you for letting me talk about the series, and I will see you later. And it's time for my shameful plug. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, um, you know exactly what time it is. Sorry, a car just literally went by. Um, <laughs> uh, if you want to support me, you can subscribe. Uh, you don't have to. It's just a suggestion if you want to. Um, uh, Nibs is sketching on YouTube, or if you want to see some other works of art that I don't show on YouTube, then you can go over to Pinterest, um, and my name over there is Nibs Chandler, so if you want to go see that, then you can. So, yeah, thank you for listening, and I'll see you later. Bye!